Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with another short Hearthstone Arena guide. In the next series of guides, I'm going to talk about the secrets that different classes have. A secret is a spell that is played but does not have an immediate effect. Instead, it hangs over the character portrait and will trigger doing something when a particular condition is met. Even if you don't play as Paladin, Hunter, or Mage, which are the three classes in this game that have secrets, you still need to know what the secrets are so that when your opponent plays one, you can play around it appropriately. After watching this video, you'll be able to minimize the damage that Paladins can deal to you with their secrets because you will know what to do when your opponent plays one to minimize its effects. So let's go ahead and first cover what the secrets are, and then we'll talk about strategies for minimizing the damage that those secrets can deal to you. So here are the four Paladin secrets. The first is Eye for an Eye. This secret triggers when your hero takes damage and it deals that much damage to the enemy hero. This secret sucks a load of donkey dongs, don't ever play with it, and don't expect any of your opponents to play with it either. Another paladin secret is Repentance. What this does is it triggers when an opponent plays a minion from their hand, and it sets that minion's health to 1. Note that it only affects minions played from the hand. So shaman totems, paladin recruits, or creatures that come back to life, like the harvest golem, will not trigger Repentance. Only a minion played from the hand will trigger the secret and have its health reduced to 1. This secret is also really, really bad. Unless you really know what you're doing, don't play with it. Don't expect your opponents to play with it either. The next secret is Redemption. This secret triggers when one of the paladin's minions dies. Upon triggering the secret, that minion will actually come back to life with one health. Now, this secret has its proponents. There are some really cool applications of it, like if you have a creature with taunt come back to life, or with divine shield, or with charge, you're going to get some extra value. But by and large, especially if you're playing in the arena, this secret is pretty bad, so you probably don't want to play with it. And finally, we have Noble Sacrifice. This secret triggers when an enemy attacks. Doesn't matter if it's the minion or if it's the enemy character himself. And in place of the target of the attack, a 2-1 spawns into being on the paladin's side and becomes the target of the attack instead. So this is the only paladin secret that's actually any good at all because in some circumstances it can help protect your hero, or more importantly, your fragile minions, and it may even kill the enemy minion that triggers it if that minion has two or less health. So that's what the four secrets do. Now let's talk about how to play around them. One thing that you may have noticed as I was discussing the secrets is that for all of them except for Noble Sacrifice, I ended my discussion by saying, and this secret sucks, don't play with it. So that's the number one rule for playing around Paladin secrets. Always assume it's Noble Sacrifice, because that's really the only decent one. What that means is that whenever your opponent plays a secret, assume it's Noble Sacrifice and plan your turn accordingly. Try to figure out, okay, which of my minions that's about to attack, would it disrupt my turn the least if instead it attacked this new 2-1 defender? For example, if there's a trade that you really want to make, let's say you really want to kill your opponent's 3-3 with your 4-4, don't attack with your 4-4 first. Instead, attack with something else, and then kill the opponent's 3-3 with your 4-4 after the secret has been flushed out. Note that if you're a rogue or a druid, it's really great against paladins because you can attack with your own hero. That way, by using the rogue dagger or by using the druid's shapeshift, you can actually flush out the Noble Sacrifice yourself, have your opponent basically go down a card for absolutely no reason, and then proceed onwards with your turn as planned. Now, in the unlikely event that the secret is not Noble Sacrifice, it's actually pretty easy to play around Paladin secrets because they're all triggering under different times for different purposes, so you can actually play around all three of them individually without really sacrificing anything. To get around eye for an eye, just always attack with your crappiest creature so that you take back the least damage. To play around redemption, always kill the paladin's crappiest creature so that the redemption triggers on the weakest one. Ideally, you want to kill one of their recruits if possible so that the redemption just brings back a stupid 1-1. One -one. And to play around repentance, all you have to do is make sure that you always play your crappiest creature first. Now, that may seem like a lot to remember, but there's a common theme that's very easy to recall, which is that for all of these secrets, it's always to do with the weakest creature. 
So for repentance, you play your weakest creature, or the creature that you least care about having its health reduced to one. For redemption, you always kill the weakest creature. With eye for an eye, you always attack with the weakest creature. So just always use or interact with the weakest creature, and you'll play around these other secrets. But the number one rule is always assume it's noble sacrifice. Always assume it's noble sacrifice and plan around it. That will minimize the damage that the paladin can deal to you with his one good secret. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and or subscribe. In my next video, I'd like to actually show a little bit more of an in-depth situation for how to play around Paladin Secrets using a recording from one of my own games. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you soon for some more Hearthstone short guides. Till then.